quick news here about the Resident Evil movie reboot, and this set of news is awesome. Last time I made a video about what seemed to be an attack on the Raccoon City Police Department and some more character casting announcements, which were very heavily Resident Evil 2. And now there's another character that's been revealed. I say revealed because it's not officially announced by the studio yet, but it's 100%. The actress already confirmed it herself. This time a character solidly from Resident Evil 1 that's heavily involved in the origins of all these viruses. One of the most important characters in Resident Evil lore is Lisa Trevor. For those that aren't so well versed in the storyline, or those that haven't watched my timeline series, which if you haven't yet, how dare you, Lisa Trevor has one of the most tragic backstories in the series. Her father was commissioned to construct the Spencer Mansion and all its craziness. The whole family was screwed over, his daughter Lisa was taken by Umbrella, and she was experimented on for years. Really a child that became a victim of the company. Turned Turned into a grotesque, out of control monster that wears human faces, leather face style. She was completely a creation of the Resident Evil remake, specifically. And she's one of the best additions to the overall lore. While she's in the movie, confirmed by the actress playing her, Ukrainian contortionist and dancer Marina Mazeppa. Don't feel bad if you never heard of her, I didn't hear about her either, but after I looked into her, I'm more than convinced that she's gonna bring this movie monster to life in an epic fashion. Here's her Instagram where she shared a video of the prosthetics team making a mold of her, something that's often done when working with practical effects. So this gives me hope that we're not gonna have a situation where a ton of CG is just overly used. And if you look at the hashtag she posted on this video, you can see who she is right there. Hashtag creature performer, Hashtag Lisa Trevor. It's gonna be her in prosthetics. It's gonna be really cool. There's no doubt about it. She also shared out a video of her training for the role. Check out her wrists. How her hands are locked together just like Lisa from the game. I love that they're making her more agile too. It seems instead of just being a slow moving clunky person. She'll definitely be a bigger threat this way. Assuming Stars faces her. And it's clear why they chose her. The way she can move her body is so creepy. She appeared on America's Got Talent and she just really hams it up with the monster performance. After seeing all this footage of her, yeah, they made the right choice. My prediction is that she's gonna take the place of the Queen Leech role. That's something that they later retconned in with Resident Evil Zero. Or infected leeches take the personality of one of Umbrella's founders, then it wants revenge and releases the virus. I don't think we need all that. I was never a fan of that story edition. I think she's gonna be the experiment that breaks out and leaks the virus. Let's see if I'm right about that, but I think that would be really cool. In the meantime, leave me your thoughts down below. Do you like this weird, twisting, and athletic Lisa, or the original slow-moving one? I'll catch you guys later. Since you made it to the end of this video, I assume you enjoyed it, so why don't you go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any new content. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, links in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can join my Patreon or become a channel member. This is Fabian, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.